the commentary of the weekend, I thought, from Benny Gantz was really interesting. He was saying that he would like to see the prime minister shift course on Gaza or he would quit. Really breaking ranks here, isn't he? He is, but we kind of knew it was coming. So we know the tension has been there for a long time. They weren't exactly best friends to start with. Fundamentally, we, though, it doesn't appear to change very much. It definitely adds tension to the existing problem. But the reality is, if he walks out of the war cabinet, Bibi still has a majority in the Knesset. Uh, it looks like the ultra-conservatives are very unlikely to walk away from the coalition because if they do, they effectively lose power. And based on all the polling that we can see now, uh, yes, Gantz would get into office, so they would effectively get out of office. So they're not going to self-immolate, basically. But the criticism is growing louder and louder. And this isn't, you know, the, the comments of Benny Gantz didn't come in a vacuum. Uh, towards the end of the week last week, I thought it was really interesting. The defense minister, Gallant, uh, also said that he, was, he had serious concerns about what the plan was for Gaza mm. post-war. Uh, and it seems to me that, you know, the, the, the walls are beginning to turn in a little bit on the prime minister. How uh, damaging is that going to be for him to be able to continue to be able to continue with the war efforts? I mean, I would argue that the baby's already pretty damaged, and he's, that damage has unfolded over several months. And it is also true to say that there really isn't a plan for uh, post-war Gaza. So we know there's been discussions going on trying to build some sort of coalition particularly amongst the Arab countries that will be effectively a caretaker security force in Gaza until you can get something resembling a Palestinian administration with any credibility. But there is a great reluctance among the Arab states to do that because mm -hmm. they know that once they get involved, where exactly is the end game? What guarantees are there that you will end up with something resembling a two-state solution or indeed a credible Palestinian administration of any sort whatsoever? Mm -hmm. So it, it feels like everyone is trying to avoid the issue. Yeah, I mean, Benny Gantz threatened that if, the, if his six-point proposal hasn't been met by June the 6th, then he would quit. So it seems like June the 6th could be another potential day, day to watch out for in the future there. Yeah, and the analysts that we spoke to yesterday... I've said that sort of a little bit of a misfire. You know, if, if I, I think the quote was along the lines of, you know, if you're going to shoot, you shoot now. You don't give a three weeks heads up for someone to basically rally a defence.